Welcome to this new episode of OTT Talks. Um, my name is Enrique Mendizabal. I'm the founder and director of On Think Tanks. And today I, I have the pleasure to talk um, with two of my guests uh, about a program that has been close to my heart and to close to the heart of On Think Tanks for a decade, uh, or even more than a decade, I think, when we started to uh, hear about and learn about um, the knowledge sector in Indonesia, which is a, a fantastic idea uh, meant to support a whole system, a whole sector uh, of knowledge generation, communication and use uh, in Indonesia. And we had the pleasure, the honor um, to participate in a review of how this initiative had supported a number of policy research organizations or think tanks um, in Indonesia. And so uh, we're here to discuss a little bit of those lessons uh, with the protagonists of, uh, of this process. Um, so I'll let my guests introduce themselves. Okay. Uh, hi, um, Kiki. So uh, my name is Vijayanti. You can call me Anti. I am the director of Smeru Research Institute, an independent uh, think tank in Jakarta, Indonesia. Thank you, Anti. Again, I'm a program lead in Knowledge Sector Initiative pro uh, Program, um, which is a partnership program between Australia and Indonesian government. Uh, we supported Indonesian policymakers in developing more effective development policies through better use of research, data, and analysis. And so with think tanks specifically, we work with them as research providers to strengthen the quality pol and policy relevance of their research. And then we work with government agencies to strengthen on how they use this research for policy making. This is very, this is very useful, um, King An, because what you're describing is not just a program that is supporting think tanks, but it's a program that is working with think tanks, but also the same program working with the policymakers, the intended users of the information, the evidence, the advice that think tanks produce, correct? Yes, correct. Uh, which is quite unique, um, in fact, around, around the world. Um, and the project has been going on for 10 years? Yes, we've been running this project from 2013 until the end of June, 2022. Okay, okay, so this conversation. Yes. Exactly, we're coming to the end. Uh, so uh, it's a program that has been, uh, it's a long-term program. Uh, it's provided long-term support to mm -hmm. both the users and the producers of, uh, of, of policy evidence. Uh, and today we're gonna talk a little bit more about the, the space and the, the changes that we saw among some of those producers, those think tanks that the KSI program uh, supported. Um, so maybe I can go to, um, to you, Antti, um, and ask you a little bit about how the context for think tanks in Indonesia has changed over those last 10 years that KSI has been operating. Yeah, I think in general, I think uh, the environment for uh, research to policy has been improved a lot in Indonesia. Yeah? I think it's uh, along with the democratization. I think, uh, I mean, from the demand side, uh, there has been an increase in the demand uh, from the policymakers as well as other stakeholders. Yeah, uh, the private sectors now are more interested in uh, supporting uh, SDGs in uh, achievement, and they are uh, more aware of the needs of data uh, from research. And also, the intermediaries are asking more and more uh, evidence that are based on research. Uh, so, and the social media also play a big roles yeah, in uh, increasing the public awareness. And also there has been an increase in the awareness of the government also that there has uh, there is a need to support uh, independent think tanks, yeah? Uh, so that uh, there can be uh, providing more inputs to the policy making process and uh, giving more evidence-based uh, policy. That's interesting. So um, a big boost in demand for evidence and therefore a big boost in the demand for the, the work of think tank. And what about the last few years, the, you know, the pandemic years? Um, do, has that had a, an, an impact on the work of think tanks? Um, has, does it, has it had an impact on the demand, uh, but also has it had an impact on other factors that affect, that affect think tanks? 
Yeah, I think the uh, the fact that I mean there is the, the changes is very uh, very rapidly changed and uh, there is a, a sudden like uh, increase in the demand of, of uh, evidence, yeah, and how the policy can be shaped because the policy have to be shaped uh, in a very uh, rapid uh, pace, yeah, and so that uh, that but there is also I mean before the uh, pandemic, uh, there has been an increase in the number of think tanks also in in Indonesia, yeah. Uh, so right. there's more think tanks also working on more not only economics but also social issues and so they are also providing more inputs here yeah, to the governments uh, yeah, uh, including it's like Smeru also providing inputs and we shifted uh, a lot of our uh, resources to uh, give a uh, more evidence, yeah. So we shifted uh, some of our research that are uh, not no longer relevant, but less maybe less prioritized than uh, the pandemic. So we shifted on the issues uh, related to pandemics and providing the government with more uh, inputs so that they can shift. Shift. Uh, I mean, from the Meru case, it's more on the social protection programs and how they have to make it more uh, adaptive to the situation. So when you say that there are more think tanks in the scene, is, uh, has, that, has that created more intellectual competition, more, more competition in the marketplace of ideas, for instance? Uh, do you think it has had an effect on you know, the amount of funding available for individual think tanks? Is, you know, is, that, is that something that is going on or has the cake expanded um, as the demand expanded as well? Uh, I think... Um... The cake is expanding because I mean they, they are also working in uh, diverse issues, yeah. But I right. think, uh, yeah, it it has uh, consequences on the competitions, but it is a very productive competitions in terms right. of quality of research, yeah, and then also uh, more collaborative, actually, yeah, <laughs> also more collaborative and communication between think tanks and. I think uh, the programs uh, also, the KSI programs also have uh, contributions here yeah, to um, and how we also organize uh, and collaborate across uh, think tanks and also with, with other stakeholders here. Yeah. Because um, that's interesting. Uh, I mean, Ping, I can go to you, but uh, KSI hasn't just provided direct, like bilateral support to think tanks, right? You've also created spaces where the, the organizations could meet. And you've also yeah. shared uh, what you're learning with a broader think tank community in Indonesia. So even though they were not receiving funding, those new think tanks and others might have benefited from what KSI was doing. Can you tell us a little bit about that, that part of the program? Yeah, so basically we try in this 10 years, we try to achieve five things, yeah. Especially in the last five years, yeah? there are five things we try to achieve which hopefully impacted other think tanks beyond the 16 partners that we have. So right. there are better research governance and funding mechanism. So if there are better funding mechanism, means more think tanks can gain access to more research funding. Yeah, um, right. Better incentives for researchers to produce quality research, Yeah, specifically those who work as researchers in universities, they need incentives so they do mm -hmm. more quality policy research. There's also increased interaction, knowledge sharing, and collaboration that invited not just our 16 think tanks, but also more of research uh, knowledge producers yeah, to interact with policymakers. So we do have a number of forums um, nationwide or online or even at the regions, giving space for this interaction to happen. We right. also have... Um, we also have to achieve more accessible quality data for policy analysis. Yeah, so we supported government to have a, a mechanism, a system that can support them to have a planning information that inform the budgeting process uh, mechanism. Yeah, uh, in Indonesia. And last one, we aim to support it, uh, our think tanks uh, to influence policy, but also becoming more financially sustainable. So, which is relevant to your previous discussion, Enrique, because not only um, there are more competitions among the Indonesian, but also with the economy of Indonesia improving, there's always a chance for a reduction of donor funding. Yeah. yeah. And so we work with our 16 partners um, 
for them to think and start implementing or piloting ways to diverse their source of funding. So coming right. from private sectors or looking at different way of producing research, yeah, um, different actors, different different donors, yeah, uh, or even targeting local governments as a source of funding. So let's let's follow up on that. Can you can you tell us um, some of the changes you've seen um, in the sixteen think tanks that KSI has been supporting over those last ten years, or maybe the last five years? Yeah, um, well, one of the good examples is actually from Smeru here. Yeah? So we certainly uh, saw Smeru um, has received a diversification of their funding. Yeah, uh, There is this new funding mechanism from the government. I think it was established in 2018. Uh, previously, there was no uh, funding from the government to think tanks as an organization. Um, to support with their research uh, needs, yeah. So it has to do, any funding needs to go to companies or individual researchers, yeah. So there's no fun, there was no funding for an organization of think tanks. Um, such mechanism became exists in 2018, and Smeru is one of the few uh, think tanks that were able to access it and therefore able to become a research partners for. Uh, some regional governments, some ministries, yeah. Um, and so there's a new, it, it's still a new a new thing. So it's not a major kind of funding, but but it's still a way to, a, a shift, yeah? A shift of where they can access um, source yes. for exactly. research. Yeah, and also targeting partner, uh, uh, private sector, yeah. Um, as Bu Anti just mentioned, there are more and more uh, large corporation in Indonesia that are interested not only to making profit, but also achieve support the achievement of um, the SDG, yeah? uh, Sustainable Development Goals. And so they do need partners to think about how can their work relates to SDG uh, goals. And Smeru has been a good partner for that because of their uh, expertise. Yeah? Right. Um, and Smeru also created new uh, business um, opportunities, yeah, they provided trainings yeah, because of their expertise in poverty issues. They provided policy analysis training on poverty and other kind of mechanisms. So that's one of the changes which also happened to a couple of our think tanks here. So let me let me go to Antti then, uh, since Smeru has been mentioned. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, I remember Smeru being a strong organization 10, 15 years ago, um, strong also in Indonesia. Um, besides those changes, you know, has, has think tanking changed in Smeru, you know, because of this engagement or throughout the 10 years that you've been engaging with this, this initiative? Uh, yeah, I think um, yeah, compared to 10 years ago, I think uh, Smeru has been, uh, growing, yeah. Uh, so in terms of number of staff, I mean, uh, when you visited like maybe 10 years ago, we have around 50 uh, staff and now we have uh, around 100 staff. Mm. And yeah, so and in terms of the, our capacity to produce quality research also improving, we have uh, more collaborations with the government ministries, uh, uh, involving in the uh, like production of uh, background paper for medium term development plan and also collaborating with the uh, uh, certain ministries yeah, uh, to develop some more strategic uh, uh, policy issues here. Yeah? For example, with Ministry of Education, uh, we are uh, with the other with other think tanks also uh, we are uh, from our research uh, during the pandemic, we have uh, provided them inputs uh, on how to prepare for a post-pandemic uh, back to school. Yeah, uh, so right. I think uh, there has been a, there has been an improvement, and also from the organizational point of view, uh, we are uh, growing. I mean, Pinkan also already mentioned that we last year we. Uh, uh, we have a new unit called business development, which has never been there before. But uh, mm -hmm. besides that, we are also 
already have a communication sections and uh, also knowledge management sections that help uh, our researchers uh, to better communicate and also to retain uh, knowledge, accumulation of knowledge so that, I mean, when uh, there has been a turn off, uh, turn, turnover yeah, of staff, of researchers, I mean, the knowledge is still uh, in touch uh, in, in our institution. So I think uh, there has been a, a, lo a lot of, of developments in, in our uh, organizations also. Yeah, oh, and, you saying, and this, go ahead, go, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, was... And yeah, and the source of funding to Pinkan already mentions about the source of funding. So we already access uh, the new scheme uh, with the several ministries and also with the local governments, the provincial, uh, not the district government even. Yeah, it's, it's still limited, but the trends is increasing. I think uh, right. we, we hope for the best, yeah. I was going to say that's interesting. So you've 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 developed new new uh, new departments or new teams within the organization that are helping Smeru deliver its mission. Um, the challenge often is that if this is not accompanied by you know a larger budget or it's not accompanied by more diversified uh, funding sources, as soon as the, the kind of the core support goes away then the think tank struggle to keep up with this uh, level of spending, right? They, they end up having to close those same uh, teams and departments that they set up with that, and that helped them have impact, right? So it's good that those developments have happened in, in parallel um, and so that they, they, can, they can support, support each other. Um, let, let me ask you a bit more about, um, so beyond these these developments, right? You you must have learned a little bit about um, what has worked. You know what worked well. Um, why were you able to deliver these these results? Like for instance, this new funding for think tanks, uh, or what have you learned um, in the case of Smero um, in terms of how to bring about these changes and how to bring about these changes so that they're sustainable? Would you care to share some some lessons with us? Uh, yeah, I think, uh, first of all, I think the most fundamental points, I mean, for our uh, development is uh, strong uh, organizational and, and good governance uh, within the organization, yeah, and we are trying to be more adaptive to the situations, uh, but with this uh, good governance, we are uh, able to expand and, uh, yeah, carefully, little by little, I mean, uh, uh, growing, becoming more uh, uh, bigger uh, institutions, yeah. Uh, but I think th this is the the most important point. And the second point is uh, about I mean how we try to focus, yeah, on uh, where is is Meru needs, yeah. Where is uh, our specialty, yeah? Because Meru is uh, focusing more on poverty and inequality issues, and we try to remain on these issues. While we are expanding our uh, topic, yeah, a topic of research, yeah. So uh, we are, I mean, in the past we are uh, focusing more on uh, poverty and inequality in in a narrow term, so monetary poverty uh, and inequality and social protections, and uh, but now we are uh, looking more on uh, multidimensional poverty issues, yeah. Uh, so it, it health, education, even. Uh, digital transformations, uh, environment, uh, gender issues, disability, and uh, children's uh, youth and elderly, uh, and governance like village governance, uh, and also uh, economic uh, inequality. Uh, so, but we are still uh, using an uh, remain in the, in the angles of poverty and inequality. So we are seeing that aspect. Uh, and I think this is uh, building our uh, specialty and and uh, our, like, like what I said, it's our uh, client, yeah? So where our partners of uh, like private sectors are approaching us and because they are also would like to contribute to Achieving zero poverty, zero absolute poverty, for example. Right. Yeah. So, so we are uh, not like going everywhere, but we are uh, remain at, at this uh, point. And 
And I think the support from the externals also uh, play uh, bigger roles, but we are trying to use uh, as flexible as possible, yeah, the support from, uh, from the external, yeah. So we are trying to also develop our capacity to look for uh, uh, grant, uh, research grants and also uh, source of funding from other uh, non-traditional uh, donors, yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. Um, so as you've grown, you've, um, you've not lost your scope, right? So you've, you've, you've decided to you know, be kind of be true to your origin, poverty and inequality, mm-hmm. but that that element of it has evolved as you know, as, as we evolve in our definition of poverty and inequality of understanding of it. But you've um, you've maintained that that um, um, claim over that intellectual territory, as uh, John Schwartz from Soapbox would say, mm-hmm. right? So, you know, poverty and inequality go to Smeru, and they can deal with that in in a range of sectors and issues. Um, and I think that's that's a very smart smart move. And I'm happy to hear you talk about governance. I remember I gave a I gave a talk at Smeru that's over ten years ago mm-hmm. when, I, when I said that governance was that one thing that think tanks tended to leave to the end, uh, but they should deal with early on because you know good yeah. governance helps you grow, helps you take advantage of the resources you get, um, helps you be sustainable. And which is your last point about investing. Mm-hmm. In sustainability, right? So not just waiting for the funding, but actually you've you've invested, you know, through a unit, through skills to make sure that you can you can get those next grants and, and next mm-hmm. projects in the in the future. And that's a good that's a good lesson. What about Ping and what about yeah. lessons from the from the point of view of KSI? What what have you learned? Yeah. I suppose echoing to what Anti just mentioned, we also see that it is important that some funding uh, should re- some of them should remain untied, yeah? Allow, allowing think tanks to have an overall organizational development. So that's what we did in our first five years of uh, program. Yeah? There's core funding. Yes, you are expected, think tanks are expected to do research, but also there's large element of it is to create good governance, yeah? um, this uh, standard operating procedures, for human resource, finance, recruitment, and so on, yeah, uh, including good uh, standard operating procedures of doing research, which they still use until now. Uh, sustain, uh, improve, and then continue, yeah, continue to be used. And then in the second phase, there um, we introduce uh, business processes, yeah. Um, so we introduce technical advice such as program logic. Yeah, stakeholders mapping, monitoring and evaluation techniques. That's to strengthen um, the, the research process to actually reach and achieve uptake in the policy, uh, in their policy research goal. So we, we see this business process as in providing flexibility for think tanks to stay on course in the research focus that they like to uh, continue. But then we work together on the process on how you can actually improve in achieving your policy uptake. And while it originally in beginning of the last five years, it was quite painful, they say, but then apparently it's useful. Yeah? In the last five years out of the 16 think tanks, together we have achieved 33 policy changes. Yeah? Only through the research and the business, the research that we support it, um, using these business processes. So, so that's quite an achievement, yeah. And Smeru, I think every year Smeru did achieve some policy changes, yeah. Who anti in a very complex country like Indonesia, where um, policy change is just not about substance but also politics, yeah. It's pretty hard to get to that point of a policy change, your recommendations to be uptaken in a very limited time. So, good job to the think tanks. Yeah, and, and but I guess I guess uh, without um, let me play a little bit of devil's advocate. I guess the proof will be in the pudding in a few years' time, right? So yes. because um, I mean, it depends, right? So so sometimes think tanks mm-hmm. will go through a a very good uh, a period of lots of impact. Yes. Sometimes they'll go, and I think I think by having a portfolio approach, by looking at think tanks in general, by looking at a community that Antti was talking about and how it's expanded. 
it'll be interesting to see if as a community think tanks are having more influence. And I think that's what you're saying. They're having more influence. They're informing more often the policy process and policy decisions. And then in that aggregate, I think we, we might see, you know, you'll see some varieties and polarities, some, some discussions and debates that is always useful in a, in a democracy for sure. Um, so KSI coming comes to an end uh, after 10 years and leaves 16 plus other think tanks in a better position to continue to inform public policy. Uh, is there is there a new phase of KSI? Is there a is there a uh, a new program? Is there is there a new effort that um, that is planned? What do you think is the is the future of uh, of this kind of support to um, to the to the ecosystem to the policy research ecosystem in Indonesia? Yeah, not at this stage, but there is a plan of a new program coming up. But I, I think it's only going to be implemented uh, early next year. Yeah. Um, it's called no Knowledge Partnership Program. Yeah. Um, so we'll see what will yeah. happen next year. <laughs> it's still in the process of, you know, designing, bidding, and everything. Great, great, great. Yeah. Anything else? Um, Anti, you wanna you might want to close uh, our conversation with any reflections? Uh, yeah, I think uh, one point that I uh, forgot to mention uh, is that I think uh, I mean, uh, along the, uh, I think uh, we develop uh, as an organization uh, that are focusing more on uh, uh, doing research, yeah, doing quality research, yeah. But over the past uh, at least five years, uh, we are uh, trying to make a policy uh, a policy engagement more systematic. <clears throat> yeah, in terms of uh, combinations between. Uh, policy engagement that are based more on the individual uh, relationship. So I know I know someone in uh, uh, such in certain ministries, and so we can engage more. But uh, I think we are going to be more uh, institutional based. So they are knowing Semeru is not because of our di the directors, but uh, I mean all the researchers are uh, being able to engage with with them, yeah, and an institutional basis. And also, and how to uh, systematically use uh, the media, yeah, the traditional media and also social media, and how to fit in the uh, systematically fit in the result from the research to uh, public, yeah, to, to the public discourse. It's, I mean, we 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 did it in the past, yeah. I mean, in the like the last ten years, we also did it, but it's not as systematic as now, yeah. No, we are. I mean the uh, the communication staff, uh, the IT staff, and the knowledge tech, uh, knowledge management staff are helping the researchers to going through this process, yeah, so that it's becoming easier also for the researchers that the researchers can focusing more on the quality research, and the other staff are helping with. I mean, how to uh, transfer the research to a policy uh, making process. Yeah. Great. Yeah, I think I think that's a key word, right? So you've gone from from doing it in some organizations. I remember many many of the think tanks in KSI that I that I I met, I worked with, you engage with. They were doing most of these things, but I think the key word is you know now you're doing it in a systematic way. Right now, it's kind of part of the organizational structure. It's budgeted for. It's supported. It's integrated into into research projects, into business development efforts, into its governance, and I think that's that's a good sign of uh, of change. Um, anyway, with uh, th it's been very nice talking to you and um, um, seeing you again, uh, Anti, and uh, yeah. thank you, Pingan, thank you. for telling us a little bit more about the the uh, KSI uh, program. Um, its successes, its accomplishments. And I certainly do look forward to uh, finding out more about what comes next uh, and how, how the lessons learned from this period and how the achievements of this period then inform the kind of support that organizations that have gone through the process you know, um, may need in the, in the future. I'm sure it'll be, it'll be very different um, and therefore very, very yeah. exciting. Thank you very much. 
Thank, Thank you. you.